Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Noka21, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Legends. Last time, we essentially reached the point of no return. Well, I call it the point of no return when there's actually a uh, deeper point of no return further in, but that includes progressing the story. So at this point, god damn it, I ain't the first person view button. Well, aiming mode, I should say. My bad. At this point, the only thing left for us to do other progress the main story and finish the game is side content, mainly side quest, item collection, money farming, the usual. Now then, the fastest way to actually repair the town after you give the fucking mayor all your money is to actually enter and exit a zone. Now as you do that, these little uh, warehouse storage containers and other I'm not actually sure what these are actually supposed to be called, but point is, these will get higher and higher until the buildings are finished repairing. However, my preferred method of uh, farming money by killing enemies takes a while, so this seems like a good opportunity to show you the mini games that this game pr provides for money. And due to that, we need to head west. Man, that has some vanilla taste. AMW root beer is what I'm drinking today, tonight, whatever time I'm recording this as. Now, in order to progress through the mini games, we need to head to Catalogs TV. Here we can enter essentially was essentially eh. Here we can enter was essentially a game show. Progress through various games, different ranks, get different items, and money. So might as well. Ah, don't worry about it. The catalog's, the catalog's mascot is a yellow bird. Although it looks more like a pencil with some eyes drawn on it. Anyway, talk to the receptionist. And she automatically assumes that I'm a participant of various fucking events. Uh, Beast Hunter Balloon Fantasy. Let's start with Beast Hunter. Studio number one and have fun. Essentially kick the ball and hit the dog. I got a feeling PETA does not like this event. Next challenger is Big Man Volna. Do you want to hear the rules? Yes. This game you have to kick a ball at the dog, chasing the man there, and see how many times you can hit him. If your number of hits is better than the par, you win! You start at rank D, and as you win, your rank will go up, and so will the par. If you win at rank A, you get a prize. That is the name of the game. Hit A rank. Now I only need him ten times. And we get this weird Russian-sounding music. Shit. Oh, fuck. Hitting the man, however, decreases your points, and if you hit the shiny dog that shows up, you get two. And if you also hit him with the tiny dog, you get more. Oh, oh damn it. And I think. 30 seconds. And we get a thousand any for our troubles. And we can keep going until we get to A rank. Do, 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 do. Bingo. Stow. Oh. It always does that right at the end. He stops right before you can actually hit the damn thing. 2000's any. Let's try for B, which is 14. Got it. There's no reason to alternate your kicking. Yeah, made it. Ok, 
come on. Okay, go for par. 16, this should be easy. I say that and I colossally fuck up. Damn it, I missed. Well, I beat him. You win, Zet Saber. No. You could essentially keep doing A rank over and over again to earn money. Now, let's move on to the next mini game. Now for Balloon Fantasy. I hate this one. Studio number seven. Lob balloons into this room. See how fast you can shoot and pop the red ones. Don't hit the blue. Rank goes up, short time limit, high rank, highest prize. No, I don't want to hear the rules. What is with this opera music? And of course, D rank is a generous time limit. Let's see how well we do here with C rank. We got 18 seconds to pop. Let's try not to hit the blue one, shall we? 16 seconds. There we go. I did under 10. Excellent. Okay, A rank. This one might be difficult. That one second almost cost me. And we win Mystic Orb! No. For a second I thought I'd have to retry that one. I'm so glad I didn't. Now for the ass of the 9-1. Who do I need to talk to? I think it's you. Pretty good runner, indeed. Try out for the show. Race through the city streets. Let's do this. I hate this minigame. Uh, it's essentially a racetrack. With goals I need to go through. Time to race through the city streets. The objects pass through the course marked by the red cones. The yellow cones are bonus. Knock them over as you're running and the clock will stop for a short while. If you win, you should finish the course with the time limit. There are three ranks, blah, 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 blah. Short time limit. Win the A rank, we get a prize. Straight course. Now you can run as you want, but it's faster if you uh, use the jet boots. This will definitely test your corner and kick you over. Boy, this is gonna suck! Oh. And your shoes are a lot... see what I mean? Your shoes are a lot faster than you're running. This is the most difficult of the minigames, so I'm probably gonna be here a while. Oh, 
that was a little sloppy. Need to be better. Seriously, getting through these is a pain in the ass. I'm so glad it's not debate your best time. Oh, I can put my initials in. That's nice. And no, this is not a joke. My initials are AMW. Yay! Straight course, I'm in third place. Oh, I got seven seconds. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Six, six, six. <laughs> oh, that's not even funny. Well, I got the music box. Next course. This one's a little longer. That's why the time limit's good. Ooh. Oh, excuse me. I fucked this one up. Oh, let's try it again. <sighs> Figures. I knew I'd fuck up these uh, courses. I always fuck up these courses. <laughs> <sighs> Rank B. <laughs> Zigzag is the name of the game. This again. Ugh. <sighs> I have no idea who SO1 or YSM stands for, so who cares? Eight seconds. Let's see how we can do. Oh yeah, there's no room for f error on that one. Fuck. Oh, holding down to speed up is a uh, risky maneuver. Oh. And of course you get disqualified, you stay off course. Fuck. I always fuck up. I'm gonna be here for a while, aren't I? By the skin of my teeth. Seven seconds on the dot. And we get the Omni unit. Excellent. Now 
now the last course, the technical course. This one is annoying. It's essentially pre the previous courses combined. It's also long. Well, this is gonna be the tough one to beat. But it gives me the most amount of money from these courses. Nothing but a little course correction can't fix. Oh, this one's gonna be a problem. These uh, fucking small ones are gonna be a pain in the dick, I just know it. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Trying to slow down to get tighter core tight eh, tighter turning, but it's not working out so well. I think I'm applying race car racing game mentality to this uh, course. Which I really shouldn't do, I think. <laughs> The needle. Oh, balls. Uh, I need to be on a straight line for that. All right. Fuck it. You son of a bitch. Oh, I would have. God damn, I should have gotten that cone. Well, I could just run if I can do it. Now the real kick in the dick. The B and A rank timings. I passed. Doing what the fuck up. That's good. 18 on the dot. Oh, last one. I gotta make it within 16 seconds. This is definitely a good way to get your heart pumping and your fingers hurting. Ah, shit. I lost this one. Just time out. Or... Do that. That works, too. Did I ever actually beat these as a, when I was younger? I don't think I did. Oh, come on! I don't dare jump. Stress again. Oh, I got stuck in a 
Yeah, there's no way I could do this without any fuck-ups at all. <sighs> oh, you son of a bitch. I'll take the DQ over having to run out the time clock. Frankly, there are infinite tries for this crap. You little sh. <clears throat> oh, jump the fuck on! I am literally turning as hard as I can, game. Come me some slack. But no, I gotta be fucking perfect on this shit. Duh. I really don't like the fucking boot startup time. It should be instant when I hold down the button. But since that is also the button for walking, it doesn't work like that. Son of a- <sighs> This would be a lot easier if some of these cones weren't here, but can't have that, gotta be challenging. And I know this is possible to beat. Ugh, I touch that and I go off fucking course. I gotta be a fucking pixel away from the edge. Oh, then again, this is really about boxes and not pixels. This is 3D, not 2D. Yeah, just fucking restart me. That was pathetic. Son of a- I need to get all the cones, and not make a single mistake. <laughs> so I can either not slow down, or I can hit all the cones. Oh, this is a pain. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Fuck off. Uh, I knew when I sat down to do this, this would take me the longest to do. Motherfucking drip, drip. <sighs> I was almost there. Oh, 
Finally! Made it through. Again, 16 on the dot. Giant Horn is our way. Fuck you! I stay ever been! Please come back and try again. Fuck off. <sighs> Wait a minute. How much... I want to try that A-rank tactical course again. No, I don't want to hear the rules. Technical. I want to see how much money you get from doing this. Damn it! <sighs> oh, that was dumb of me. Okay, one more time before I get this quit. And move on with my life. You mother! I am right in front of it. Oh. I'm not taking that line down. No way. I'm not giving up that easy. I am gonna give up that easy if I keep doing that stupid shit. Is this even worth the money at this point? I swear, don't, you should get, don't give me anything less than... Oh my god. Just, fuck it, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Uh, but my curiosity will never be seated unless I try. What am I doing? That was dumb. I'm not even trying. Okay, try again. Oh my fucking god, I tr uh, Of course this course is the hardest. Has to be. It always has to be the hardest fucking course. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm never coming back here, you fucking asshole. Fix your goddamn course placement first. Fucking cheap ass son of a bitch. Eh. You're lucky I can't kick you in the dick. Show me the high score. How the fuck do you get... Oh... Because you should get all the cones. Ugh. Fucking hell. Well, that's it for the mini games that you can do to earn money. I'm never going to go back there ever again. If it's easy, it's not actually worth the time and hassle because there's faster w the fastest ways to farm monsters. Let's go into the hospital. 
This is where the first of our uh, side questing begins. It involves getting this little girl in a wheelchair. You from another island? Wish I could go places too. Just you wait and see. As my leg gets better, I'm gonna go all over. Nurse tells me that if I keep working hard with the rehabilitation, my leg will get better in no time. Why don't you come over to my room sometime and tell me stories about where you've been? It's so boring just staying in my room by myself all day. Where are your parents? What the fuck happened to your face, woman? Essentially, had to visit Ira in her room so many times. Yeah, it looked better than my fucking room, I can tell you that. Hmm, more modern equipment, you say? I think we could talk to the mayor about this. There's juice and other things inside, of course there is. What's this? Oh, this is her personal shelf. Looks more like a storage cabinet to me, but what, can I, what do I know about the fucking hospital rooms? I was in the ICU for 10 days, drugged out of my fucking stupor... Mind? That doesn't really work. Anyway... Let's go see the mayor! Because she sounds like the person to talk to if you want to, uh... Shall we say, improve the medical equipment at the hospital. Probably gonna ask for more money, and hey! The city is fully repaired now. Like I said, just need to enter and exit an area so many times and everything's back to normal. That's not even remember my song, you moron. Let's see, do we even get a reward for fixing up the city? About the investigation, hospital equipment. Upgrade the hospital's equipment, the latest models, for some time, but it, we need 15,000 zenny. Wow, that's a lot of money. I could pay for that. Alright, let's head back. Although I am curious if we talk to her about the investigation, see if anything pops up. Probably not. We. Oh, I didn't launch off. Wait, is that this? Wait, can't you launch off things in this game? Or is that just Mega Man, Mega Man Legends 2 that introduces that? Hang on for a second. Yep, it's Mega Man Legends 2 that does that. Why do I have it in my head you could do that in this game? I don't know. Now let's see how much time passes. I imagine we're really tearing up the pavement and grass doing that. Yep, she's in a room. I'm not sure if I have to keep talking to the info desk. I like your nurse's outfits, though. Classy. Hey, Mega Man! Look! Look, I can walk again! The nurse told me that you bought them a machine that fixed my leg. Thank you. Here, this is for you. I found it when I was out for a walk. We got a flower pearl. Come back 
can see me again. I'm guessing this was the machine? Or this? Seriously, where are our parents? Come back and see me again. So, just enter and exit the room? Yep. Oh, is that the reception desk? Come back and see me again. All right, this is essentially concluded. We never have to visit her ever again. <sighs> I think I may have skipped a few conversations with her. Oh well, I got what I wanted. Uh, where is it? Flower Pearl. Useful as an energy fur. It's a fucking diamond. Ugh. Now for it's time to get the annoying collectathon portion started. And I say annoying collectathon because this gigantic list of items that I have, some of them are for sub weapons, others are for the museum that bit this bitch is a part of. However, she's stuck out here doing this painting. Of the hospital, it looks like. It's the only building that looks like this one. There's only one problem. It's missing some red. Hmm. Something's missing. What do you think I should add? Some talent. <laughs> Could use a little bit of red. Really? You think so? I'm fresh out of red, which is why I haven't been using it, but... I suppose it is a little drab. But there's nothing wrong with this cold look either. We need to get her a source of red paint. Only one problem. There is no red paint, so we have to get the closest substitute. Which is lipstick! And I don't think Roll carries around red lipstick. But I do know a place that does sell lipstick, don't ask why. It's like I've done this game a hundred times before. Done this game a hundred times before? Played this game a hundred times before is what I mean to say. <sighs> when in doubt, head to the shopping mall. Hello. Eh, I'm pretty sure you'll find. It's not the... And it's one of the shops around here. I forget which one it is. It's either... Uh, no. It's the female shop. Female clothing store, if I'm remembering right. Hip bone. That sounds rather annoying. Let's see, I think I need to talk to the receptionist. Well, technically, red chalk will also work. Yes, indeed, that would work. Yay, we got the lipstick. Although, you girls could, uh, really use some color in your dresses. Just saying. Not that the drab brown and pale uh, tan colors ain't good on ya, it's just that uh, they kind of blend in with the store background. Could use some color. And now I think about it, isn't just lipstick just wax? Like colored wax? That is very easy. What the hell is lipstick made of? Wax and some kind of adhesive? Ow! Asshole! Watch where you're driving! I mean, I shouldn't be in the streets in the first place, but come on! You should get your license revoked. Hello, lady. Oh, you're back. What's that? Hey, could I borrow that for a second? Sure. That's it. That's perfect. 
that's exactly what it needed. Thank you so much. Oh, would you look at the time? I better be going. And she blitzes out to the museum. Oh, a butterfly. I thought you were a cat. A butterfly that phases through the world. It's a phase, butterfly. It's etherealness. It cannot be comprehended. Uh, that's step one of the collectathon done. Now to start the second process of the collectathon. Because there's two collectathons. One involving artifacts that you give to the museum. And the other one is essentially a. Uh, essentially the uh, big Goron sword quest from Ocarina of Time, only in this game. And for that, I need to head north to the woods. Uh, forest, woods, whatever. Because we need to find those uh, three boys that were causing us trouble at the beginning of the game. First, we're going to join their little club. And then we'll turn, we'll get some useful items. Which I'm pretty sure are just strictly for sub-weapon development, but I think there's like maybe one or two that I need for the museum. So I might as well get that started and finish the day. Thankfully, I know where these punks are at. Remember the shabby little shed that's over here? Here's where they're at. Sup, dweebs? It's not that hard to find you guys. Yeah, you really need some work. I'll help you guys. You need all the help you can get, honestly. Requisitions officer. Your job is to procure all the things we need to fix up our base. Let's see, first things first, we need a pickaxe. I'm not sure I trust juvenile delinquents with a pickaxe. Give us a pick, okay? Good luck. Uh, and the best place to find a pickaxe are the multiple diggers that are surrounding the area. The problem is, depending on which stage of the game you're at when you start this, the digger moves locations. <sighs> Wait a minute, can you even call roll in this place? Nope. Uh, fine then, we'll do this and we'll close out City Hall. You better be parked out front, Roll, because I do Thanks to your contribution, we were able to rebuild this building! Yay, the bank is now fixed. la dee dee If the bank is fixed, does that mean the uh, police station's also fixed? And then again, I don't think the police station got damaged. Da da. Whoa, whoa, okay, um, got to call off roll for a second. Ma'am? Don't jump. How'd you get up here? You allowed to climb the main gate, but the police would stop you. I wonder why? How'd you even get up here? I don't see any ladders. And there are no doors that lead up there. Did you, like, climb out of the windows and... Scale the fucking railings to jump up here? I gotta say, you, you are dexterous. Anyway, enough fucking around. Um... Yeah, I might as well check. Hey, Roll, can, I, can you make anything out of the stuff I have? Da -da -da, I have a gigantic list of crap. The giant unit was used to make the active Buster special weapon. It fires a homing missile. It 
The Active Buster is one of the most powerful weapons in the game, however, there's a one there's one other that surpasses it. The Zet Saber and Penlight were used to make the blade arm. Essentially, you get the Z Saber. It's probably best when you get in trouble and are surrounded by enemies, not really. Gatling Pard and Flower Pearl were used to make the bus the Gatling Gun! Fire more shards at once, not only that, your firepower and ranged are improved as well. It looks like an all one package. Target sensor and tele lens were used to make the Buster Park sniper scope. Increases our range. That's it. How many more special weapons do we have? One, two, three, four, five. You have just five more special weapons to go, and then we have them all. That's all I need, roll. Data. Let's save. Guys, I'm gonna call it here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGod21. This has been Let's Play Mega Man Legends. Next time, it's time to go collecting for collectathons. Oh, how I hate collectathons. But until then, thanks for watching a wonderful evening, and I'll see y'all next time.